Happy Memorial Day weekend, everybody. Hope you're having an awesome, awesome weekend so far. It's another absolutely gorgeous day to be in the Villages, Florida. It's a little hot, to be honest with you. I think it's <laughs> a about, little? Yeah. <laughs> I think it's 92 degrees right now. The high is going to get up to about 96 degrees today. So we're going to try to keep this golf cart moving because as long as we're moving, it's, it's pretty cool, it's right? It's awesome. <laughs> so we're starting today's adventure at the Homestead Recreation Center right there back behind us and Tiffany's gonna pull up and uh, merge oh look at this beautiful Porsche going by here so she's gonna merge us on to Megason Road and we're gonna head towards Sawgrass but we're not gonna go actually to Sawgrass So Sawgrass Grove is straight ahead, and that's the normal route we would take. We'd normally take a right right there and go over to Sawgrass Grove and then take the multimodal uh, running all the way up basically to St. John's and the Richmond area. And then we used to have to take the Water Lily Bridge, right? Mm -hmm. yep. If we wanted to go to Magnolia Shopping or if we want to go over to Finney, well, guess what? Today we are headed to what we think is a game changer, maybe life changing, <laughs> <laughs> at least villages life changing. So the villages, you know, they keep expanding over here on the other side of uh, the turnpike over there towards Eastport and stuff like that. And they've been opening up new neighborhoods, Moultrie Creek and uh, what's the one that starts with an, with an S? Shady Brook. Shady Brook, but they just announced that they have Wellpoint open and they have opened up this new passageway, which is called McNeil. McNeil Drive. So we're gonna hang a left right here, and then we're gonna drive down this way a little bit, and you might recognize this part here in just a minute. That's where we uh, <laughs> did our big reveal of our golf cart uh, about a week or so ago when we, when we made that last video. But beyond that spot is the Bexley Bridge. And so get ready for the views when we get to the top of the Bexley Bridge. You'll be able to see all of the expansion that uh, the village is currently doing right now. Yes. And on the way to Bexley Bridge, this is like one of my favorite drives. Just seeing the golf course and the openness is just so pretty.
that we are actually like trying to record audio in the golf cart. So hopefully, hopefully it's working. Uh, so we won't know till we get home. <laughs> yeah, I got all kind of set up. So right now I'm talking to you on this camera. This is my iPhone that I'm talking to you directly on. And we have a wireless mic and I put this wireless mic up here above Tiffany and I with the, what's called a dead cat. So it can hopefully muffle the sound. And so it's right here between us. So we'll see how that audio level is when we get there. And then I'll flip the camera around so you can see. We also have the GoPro with its own sort of dead cat on that microphone as well. So again, like Tiffany said, we won't know until we get home if any of this audio is even worth it or not. <laughs> it's really windy, so we'll see. Car to pass us on McNeil Drive. Yay! Second. <laughs> <laughs> it has not, it doesn't seem like it's taken people long to find out this is open. Yeah. Everything you see to the left and the right will be future houses, uh, rec centers, pools, postal stations, you name it. So Looks it's like be... a large maintenance facility right here. Yeah. Watch for these signs where it says golf carts merging ahead. So when you get to the entrance and exits, you have to merge from the golf cart lane over into the regular lane. So it's kind of good to put your blinker on early and start doing that before the line of cars starts flying by you there at the last second. And we'll stop here at the intersection of McNeil and Corbin Trail. So if you take a right right there at Corbin Trail, that will take you to some of the older parts of the villages and everything. And we'll look out for these signs right here. It says, no golf carts beyond this point. They're small, and if you're not paying attention, you might miss it, and you'll be out there in the main road with all the cars. But let's take a right right here, and we're on the brand new section, the multimodal. Yep, a Marsh Bend Trail. Yeah, you don't want to wind up out there. Oh, there's Well Point right there. So we are coming up to the village of Monarch Grove. And if you would have took the other road back there when we were at the intersection of the stop sign, you could have weaved through this neighborhood and then picked the multimodal back up right here. Good on my left. Clear. Good on my right. They get slow and steady there. You don't want to run off in that pond right there. <laughs> Any gators up there today? I'm looking. I think I saw one snout over there. It is snout up. I think they'd be sunning themselves. It's so beautiful today. Yes. You saw a gator? He's in the water. huge oak tree here. Oh, that's pretty. So we're getting ready to go through our first tunnel on this side of the villages. And this is tunnel CR1. Are we going to make it? I think so. We've got a yield here because we do have another roundabout. And we take that roundabout to the left. That takes us over towards Finney, correct? Correct. We're going to take the right right here and make our way over to Magnolia Shopping Center. And again, we'll do that another day. We'll come and see how quick it is to Finney now, because we love going to Finney, whether it's the Finney Grill, or the outdoor live music, or the pool, or the boardwalk. There's so much to do at Finney, so that's exciting that that might be closer as well. over here lots of ducks lots of herons lots of uh, sandhill cranes over here off to our left the water levels are a little low we had a lot of rain but then it hasn't rained for almost a week now so it's dried up pretty quickly and with the heat it is just evaporating the ducks over here found a lot of shade so right across the way over there you can see in the distance there is magnolia shopping center 
we're going to go down here and go through another tunnel and come out on the other side. But this spot up here to our left, it says, may all your dreams come true. This is where Tiffany and I drove the car and stood right there with our big old thing of Kool-Aid announcing that we drank the Kool-Aid and that we bought a house here in the villages. It's pretty awesome, huh? That is awesome. So we're going through tunnel WS2, Warm Springs Avenue. And then we come out the other side of this tunnel. It should be Magnolia Plaza, right? Yep. There you go, the Villages Magnolia Plaza. And uh, even going back further in our journey, what's that back over there, Tiffany? What's that building? Everglades Recreation Center, which is the first place we went to the sales center. <laughs> that is where our journey officially began. So we're gonna hang a left right here. If you take that multimodal right there, that takes you over towards the Water Lily Bridge. You can get to Brownwood that way. But now here we are in the Magnolia Shopping Plaza. And boy, is it packed today. I didn't think it'd be this crowded on Sunday, but I guess it is a holiday. So we'll take one loop around and kind of point out all the different things here for you. Up here on our left over here, hopefully the camera's getting it, there is a McDonald's right there where you can drive your golf cart through the drive through and get McDonald's. Straight ahead, you've got uh, a, a dentist. And off to the left of that over there is uh, one of the village's banks. What is that called? First Citizens? Citizens First. Citizens First, which is the Villages Bank. And they have several locations throughout the villages. So we'll pull through here. So you could drive your golf cart right here through the drive through lanes if you need to do all your banking. You got the Villages Insurance Office over here. You got some, uh, these aren't patio villas. What are these? Courtyard, courtyard villas? Courtyard villas. And I forgot what the name of that neighborhood is. But if you go back in that direction, that's where you get to Edna's on the green, right? That's back in that direction back there. Yes. So we'll drive by so you can see all the different businesses that are here in the villages. Probably won't call them all out, but uh, we'll, we'll name a few. So right here in the corner is Willie Jewel's Barbecue. Good place to eat. They have indoor outdoor seating and they also have a lot of live music out here in the afternoons. I got a couple other restaurants, but the main big thing in this intersection right here, of course, is Publix. They have a drive through pharmacy, grocery store. They actually have their own liquor store up here, the Publix liquor store. So if you need that, we'll stop for the folks in the crosswalk there. Yeah, even though the parking lot's kind of busy, this is nothing compared to in season in season this place is absolutely packed or even a weekday yeah it's still packed and then up here in this corner is called reveille which we ate at on our lifestyle visits there you go brand new 7-eleven with a car wash so if you do have a gas golf cart you can stop and fill up your your golf cart right there you got an electric golf cart lithium battery golf cart you don't have to worry about that. <laughs> we'll stop here and then we'll go straight across and we'll go look at these businesses over here. And you can see over off to our left, they're moving dirt. So they're getting ready to build new retail. And what do you think that's going to be? CVS. CVS. I could be wrong, but reading the paper, I think that's what it is. So up ahead is the May All Your Dreams Come True sign in the tunnel that we just went through a few minutes ago. And then check this out as we make the turn right there. That is the second time that we've seen a Tesla Cybertruck here in the villages. That's pretty awesome. That is. I wonder if it's the same one. I bet it's the same one. There's not that many of them on the road right now, but that's pretty cool. That's pretty awesome. Maybe that person's in there eating at Marco's Pizza right now. And then he has cameras all around, so it's recording us as we drive by it, I'm sure. So you get a coffee shop here, Foxtail Coffee Company, and then there is McDonald's right across the way. So here is the Everglades Recreation in the Villages Sales Center. Uh, you can stop by any of them and talk to whoever's on duty. So they're very, very low pressure uh, sales process. They realize some people may take years and years to make that final decision before buying a house here in the Villages. So if you're here in the area, just stop by and uh, get some information and maybe even take the trolley tour too, right? Yep. This is when the trolley tour stops, I think.
there's a trolley right there. Look at that. <laughs> Serendipity. We did not plan that, I promise you. I didn't even notice it until you pointed it out. How ironic is that? That's pretty wild. So yeah, I think that's a sign that you're supposed to take the trolley tour if you ever stop by. Which we still have not done yet, right? Correct. <laughs> we need to. That was pretty wild. Park you in that part of the shade? Yeah. Golf cart only. Interesting. <laughs> Nice. I just want to appreciate that. That looks great. That's awesome. Woo, it's hot. <laughs> it's very, very hot, to put it politely. We're both glistening. <laughs> it's about 96 degrees, so if you stop, it's almost unbearable. Yes. So I think we're going to get back in the cart and just keep moving so we have that airflow over us. It's not so bad when you're actually driving. So uh, normally we looked at the Villages app. It normally says if you were to go from Homestead over here to Magnolia Square, it's about 38 minutes according to the app. So I'll show you a picture of that, what this little weird funky route that you ha would have to take and going all the way up, like I said, to St. John's and Richmond and doing that roundabout and then going over the Water Lily Bridge to get here. We're not gonna go that way. Nope. We're gonna go the new way, right? We're gonna go the new way. And like I said, we're gonna time it this time. We're not gonna stop, except for stop signs. <laughs> and uh, see how, I'm hoping this is the game changer. We, we will time it and let you know what it is from Magnolia Plaza to Homestead Recreation Center. So take a guess in the comments below. Normally it would take us 38 minutes. Are we gonna do it in 35 minutes? Are we gonna do it in 30 minutes? Are we gonna do it in 15 minutes? <laughs> I wish. Let's find out together. Let's go. All right, it's good enough. All right, we are leaving Magnolia Plaza and I am going to start the timer. It just turned 3.14 p.m. We'll see what the clock says when we get there. I think we'll be back lots now. Yes. <laughs> In the golf cart. So we're going underneath the Warm Springs Avenue Bridge. And the more that we do this, the more uh, comfortable and confident we'll get with our landmarks and neighborhoods and stuff like that. But this is the first time we've done this. So uh, if we call it the wrong neighborhood name or something like that, please forgive us. We'll, we'll get better as time goes along. And let us know in the comments what the right <laughs> name is so we can learn. <laughs> but this is awesome. We've driven down that road over there in the car so many times and watched people drive their golf carts that have lived on this side of the neighborhood. All right, so there you go. There is the brand new sign to the brand new neighborhood or the brand new village of Well Point. And I think this is going to be a prime, prime area to live, don't you? Yes. You're far enough from the turnpike. Yep. Um, but now you're just uber convenient to everything. So we'll stop right here so you can see they get it barricaded across, but eventually they'll open the multimodal so you can go that way all the way over there towards uh, Moultrie Creek and everything. Yep. So now we made a turn of the road here. We got our own little golf cart path lane here. And you can see here is all of the new section that they're building. 
Oh, with McNeil Drive. This is McNeil Drive again, okay, all right. Now we're gonna stop here at the stop sign. That is Corbin Trail, so the next time we come, we'll take that loop, we'll go down Corbin Trail and cut through those neighborhoods so that we can explore and see, uh, is it a shortcut or not? Does it take the same amount of time or is it longer? Get over to our golf cart path lane here, I almost forgot. Oh. <laughs> you mean to run you through the sprinkler circuit? It didn't feel really good right now. <laughs> Yeah, but oh my goodness, I think... I, don't, I think you're going to get yeah, wet. Yeah, I think that's wastewater too. I don't want to get wet. Oh my God! Oh my goodness. All right. That wasn't good. No. It's probably good for camera. It's probably good for the vlog, but yeah, we are soaking wet now. I'm sure the camera is full of water too. It's waterproof. Well, I'm just saying it's going to have water droplets all over it. Oh yeah. <laughs> We'll see. We can't stop because we're on a, we're on a mission. We're, That's you know, right. We got to time it and see how long it takes us to get there. <laughs> so far, it's been about eight minutes, maybe nine. All right, we got a construction truck over here in the golf cart path lane. So we will put our blinker on, come by them really slowly here. And we got to make a left over here anyway. Eventually they'll have the uh, the gate arms there. No one coming, so we'll hang a left. And there you go. You can see the Florida Turnpike and the Bexley Bridge up there in the distance. But we got no. We don't have to go through a tunnel. So if we take this tunnel up here to our right, which we're going to go on a roundabout again, and we were to take that immediate right right there, that takes you over there to. Moultrie Creek in Middleton, right? Yes. We're going to go this way. And Which takes us home. There you go. We've got a golf cart parade coming here. You can see we're not the only ones that figured out this new, uh, this new pathway. This is awesome. And it's fun to see everybody dressed in their red, white, and blue. So we came for our lifestyle visit that day. If you go back and watch that video, we came across this bridge driving in our car because Sawgrass Grove is over there, which they have a sales and information center. And that's where we picked up our keys to our lifestyle visit, Patio Villa. So if you haven't checked out that video, go see it. It's in the, uh, the, the description below. And you'll see what this looked like before. Yeah. <laughs> All of this. Because the golf cart path wasn't open yet, right? Correct. Yeah, the Bexley Bridge for the golf cart wasn't open. You just had it open just for the cars. You're yep. absolutely correct. Yep. And then right up ahead in the distance, right there beside that bench, because we were over here later in the afternoon, that's where we stopped and filmed our big reveal of our brand new golf cart in our last video. No shade right now, except we're underneath the tree. All right. Pretty soon that bench will be in the shade, and yep. it's nice. You can watch people teeing off across the street. See lots of birds. If you love to bird watch, the villages is the place to be. So up ahead in the distance is Sawgrass Grove. We'll go through this tunnel right here. Stamp it and tell you exactly how long it basically got to get the sawgrass groove. Once we come out the other side of the tunnel and we had to cross that path, so let's get there first before we make that announcement. get up here and we make a stop you know normally we go straight across when we go to sawgrass we're gonna be taking a right to go back towards our house into homestead so we get up here and we park behind this golf cart announce the time because basically like I said all you have to do is go right across the road there and then you would be at sawgrass grove so let's stop and what is that time all right that time is 13 minutes and 45 seconds 
Say it again now. 13 minutes and 45 seconds. Wow. So right there that Tesla's pulling out. I forget what the name of that pool is. Citrus Grove. Oh, that's Citrus Grove, and I think that's an adult-only pool, right? It is an adult pool, and it looks empty, but don't be fooled. They're replacing the water pump, <laughs> so it's actually closed ah, right now. I was wondering why no one was out there this <laughs> hot day today. So our closest adult pool for us, besides Citrus Grove, would be um, Dabney. The little patio villa neighborhood to our right here. Oh, we're already at the homestead. We're wow. already here. Wow. I, I was thinking we still had to drive down further. Okay, so I'm putting on my blinker. Here is the entrance. Wait for these cars to come past. And as soon as we pull in, we got to wait on a couple more cars here. Tiffany can announce that time. So welcome to Homestead. What's our time? 16 minutes and 15 seconds. Oh my goodness. 16, 15. And I think it says it's going to be 37 to 38 minutes, right? Yes. So that's less than half the time. Correct. Big game changer. Huge. <laughs> Let's go park somewhere and talk about this. So welcome to Homestead here. We'll drive by it just so you can see it real quick. And this one has a pool as well, but it's a family pool, right? Right. And uh, yeah, you see lots of golf carts over here parked. There is the pool on the other side of that wall right there. And lots of cars. Good day to be at the pool. Oh, I thought we might have found a patch of shade, but they beat us to it over there. So they were smart. They got here first. No one's playing bocce right now or shuffleboard. I wonder why. I wonder why. <laughs> you got tennis courts right here. Well, even with the covering on the shuffleboard courts, only one end is, is uh, in the shade. So we'll stop here, we'll go across, and we'll show you the dog park. So right up here to our right, I'll angle the golf cart there so you can see it. Over there is the dog park over there to our right. And I think back here beyond this building, which I think is restrooms, right? Yes. I think that's the way to the astronomy pads, right? Right. All right. I'm inside. So welcome to Homestead Recreation Center Astronomy Pads. I'm not gonna read that off to you. Uh, you can pause the video for all the info, but basically the hours of use are from 7 a.m. to dusk and enjoy at your own risk. And Tiffany already made her way down this way. Wow, this is the first time being here. This is awesome. Nice little pathway, got a little bit of shade here with these trees. A lot cooler here in the shade, let me tell you what. That palm tree right there, that little bitty palm tree right there is providing a pretty good amount of shade right there. So Tiffany's over here in the shade, all chilling out, and we've bought a couple of different uh, portable fans for the golf cart or to take with us uh, wherever we may go in our adventures, right? So far, this fan is heaven. Now, I haven't compared it to one of the others yet, but look at this. It just clips right on, and I can sit here and enjoy nature and outdoors, which I don't like to do when it's too hot. <laughs> only took us about 16 minutes to get all the way over there from Magnolia Plaza here to Homestead. Getting to Sawgrass was even less, 13, 14 minutes. Yep. Wow. Huge, huge difference. So if you are, were worried about moving to the southern part of the villages yeah. and that you weren't going to be convenient, worry no more. <laughs> We were a little worried about it. Oh, we, we were, and a lot of you have left comments. You know, you've, that was one of your big worries. We've got a lot of comments asking, how far is it to get anywhere by golf cart? And to be honest with you, it was pretty far bef before this. I mean, it used to take us from our house to get all the way over to Magnolia. We only did it like twice, like 45 minutes to do that each way. So that's not even including stopping, shopping, eating, or anything. You know you're going to spend an hour and a half of your life of the day just driving around the golf cart, and now we can make it in the... Uh, 15 or 20 minutes or less. Which I would say is comparable to the car. 100%, yeah. Very comparable. So now we just gotta figure out how to keep groceries cold between 
Publix and home. So that's your next that's your next job. So if you get any tips or suggestions <laughs> about that, yeah, maybe we can get a, uh, a portable cooler that, that plugs in. I don't know, but we'll definitely be researching that and sharing with you in the future what we do do <laughs> to, uh, to alleviate that. But, uh, but it's going to be a lot easier for me to get to nails and hair and grocery store and dentist and everything. So I'm really excited because, I mean, that is one reason you moved to the villages, right? right. It's a golf cart community. Um, and even though we love our car and we love going everywhere in the car, um, um, just having the golf cart and being open air and just enjoying and waving at everybody. I mean, that just adds to the experience. So now you know the real secret, the real reason why we didn't buy a golf cart until now. We, we had this plan all <laughs> along, all along. We were just waiting for them to open up that uh, that new trail. That's what we were doing. We, we knew they were going to do it eventually. <laughs> <laughs> no, we were just too busy shopping and looking for different golf carts and testing them out. So, so far, we really, really love our golf cart. And if you want more information about our golf cart, just check the description below. Got a lot of useful information there for you. But, uh, yeah, this is a big, big game changer, not only for us, but for everybody. Like Tiffany said, if you live uh, right here in Newell, or if you live in, what's the other area that we're called? Citrus Grove? Citrus Grove, Lake Denham. Dabney, yeah, or all of you folks down there in the Enclave, well, you know how long it takes you by golf cart to get from your house either here to Homestead or to uh, Sawgrass Grove. So just take our video and add that time and you'll figure it out. But uh, yeah, less than half the time. Yeah, less. Than, less than half the time. That's amazing. Yep. So um, if you haven't done so by now, make sure you go ahead and hit the subscribe button leave us some comments. Uh, this is the first of many, many adventures now that we have a golf cart. Right? right. Where else do you want us to go on the golf cart? Let us know because uh, we're going to be driving that thing everywhere. <laughs> What's next on your list? Next on my list is to go to Finney. Yeah. Again, one of our favorites. So if it's going to be more convenient and quicker to get there, I'm so excited. I don't know. Edna's might be next. We'll just have to check out the weather yep. and some of the live music playing. We'll just make a choice. Yeah, but uh, the Finney Recreation Center, is, it's beautiful. We love just going inside yeah. that recreation center. Uh, it's a family pool, but it's a mm -hmm. gorgeous pool. You have the Finney Grill. You have all the nature trails back there. And then they also have, uh, we haven't done it yet, it's the Finney uh, Putt-Putt course over there. Yeah. I think it's an island uh, Putt-Putt course. We haven't tried that out yet but we do love going to Edna so yeah we'll be checking it out very soon too so if you've got any favorite spots let us know in the comments below and then for all of you out there that are dreaming about moving to the villages well we will document this whole process as the villages keeps expanding now that we have a golf cart uh, we're going to be looking for excuses to get out there and go travel around and share not only our experience but you know some of the future growth that the villages has planned uh, not only in the near future, but, you know, hopefully for the next 30 years, right? Right. So hope you're having an awesome Memorial Day weekend. Again, thank you to everyone that uh, has served our country and paid that ultimate sacrifice. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And uh, just, uh, I don't know how to end it after that. I got emotional. <laughs> we'll see you in the next video.